Bulls fans, Adam Harry back again with another Bulls unboxing. I'm pretty excited to bring this one to you here. This is the new Crix Kraken box. It's a dual kit, obviously. Uh, you can make the Kraken or the, uh, I can't pronounce that word, Sepulcher. Uh, it's a sea monster. <laughs> for Crix, obviously for War Machine from Privateer Press. Here's the back of the box. There's the two things you can build. We've seen that guy before in metal and, and other stuff. And then this is the newer guy. Um, pretty pumped, pretty pumped. I got my handy dandy scissors. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. This is a big old box, uh, obviously, and pretty, <laughs> pretty excited. And it's plastic. This box is a lot lighter than it probably looks on camera. So, da da da. Gonna go ahead and open this on up. And here we go. What's inside the box? Put my scissors here. Ooh. Let me go ahead and just rotate this so we can kind of see. We've got uh, some sprues, which we'll open up here in a second in plastic wrap. We've got the torso, which is super awesome. I think there's, oh, there's two sides to the torso. Okay, I was like, I thought there were two torsos for a second there, but those are the big plates. Set that to the side again. And then a whole lot of extra bits here. We've got legs, we've got joints, we've got weapons, we've got the tentacle you got to have that. Uh, what else is in the box? Let me move these to the side for now. What else is in the box? We got to have the cards, right? So we've got the first one here, which is the first Kraken card. This is the stats, as you can see, uh, minus the box. The hit boxes are actually on a separate card here. So if you've never played with a uh, Colossal before, <laughs> you've got Colossal power attacks and all that stuff on, on the back of the hit box card. But uh, I mean, Colossals are pretty mean. They got double the boxes as a, as a heavy war jack and stuff like that. So pretty awesome. And then the back here, and you can see from the stats too, this thing's mean. Um, it hits really hard. It's got a bunch of special rules, special abilities. So that's the Kraken. And the Sepulcha. And there we go. Uh, you can see the stats there again. There all the hit boxes on this card. Pretty nuts. All the stats here. I'm not going to run through the stats. They haven't really changed. I mean, the... the You've seen this, probably seen the stats before, but this new kit is what I'm excited about. And then, of course, we've got to dump the rest of the box out. <laughs> we've got our Frisbee disc of a base, which I kind of like the Colossal bases because they actually have markings uh, where you can actually see um, the front arcs. So I like that just because I, I kind of wish the regular bases had those markings just because I know a lot of people paint them on, but... Uh, it's not that I don't trust the other players, but sometimes those lines can be a little crooked and a little hard to tell where is where. So I do like the fact that the manufacturer put them on and there's, for some reason, the, the bottom of the base if you cared about that. <laughs> We've got the ins assembly instructions, which is pretty handy, uh, considering you can make a lot of mistakes with this bad boy if you do it wrong. But you can see here, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's in black and white and it's really not that complicated of a model. Um, you will have to do a lot of little bits, uh, as you can see there, uh, number one through one million, <laughs> right there in the center. Uh, no, it's not that many, but you will have to glue a lot of steam vents and stuff like that. I mean, hey, it's, it's a steam jack, what did you expect? But it's really not that bad of an assembly. Um, and plus it's all in plastic now, so that makes the assembly that much easier to work with. So very cool, very impressive kit. Uh, let's take a closer look at some of the sprues. Go ahead and uh, cut these bad boys open while we're at it. So, just kind of rip this open. Here's the first set. Again, this was the, uh, well, I guess the third set if we're going to reverse order now. But you can see all the different joints and stuff like that. Again, th this, this kit didn't lose any detail, in my opinion, going to plastic. If anything, it gained some light uh, lightness. And this is a hard plastic. Uh, it's a it's bendy, but it's still rigid. So it's it's good. It's a good base material to work with. So a little bit lighter in color than some of the other manufacturers, but that's not an indicator of quality or strength or anything like that. So just want to point that out. You could build this entire kit with plastic glue, which uh, if you're not going to magnetize it, uh, you almost certainly would want to do just because it's so massive. Um, plastic glue is definitely going to help hold it all together. So. They're still the little legs and stuff. It's crazy to me that these little tiny legs hold up that giant whale of a model, but that's technology for you. <laughs> Let's go ahead and open this one on up. 
there's a hole there, I just slid the scissors right through. So here's the chassis, the chassis. So we've got these big old pieces. I don't know if you, uh, if you, if you're watching, maybe you bought the previous version and this whole thing was in uh, resin. <laughs> it was kind of heavy, um, but now we have hollow plastic, which is awesome. So again, I would definitely recommend using some plastic glue, put this bad boy together. Once you do that, once it fuses, because it's plastic glue is actually melting the plastic and then when it solidifies, it's actually reforming that bond uh, into uh, basically a seamless bond. So super hardcore, you can't just snap it apart. If you dropped it like that, the old model would have shattered. This one will probably bounce. You may have some breakage in some other spots that weren't glued together because it's that tough. But great amount of detail. I love the little rivets. I always love rivets on the, uh, the models. So um, I don't know why, but it's just that small attention to detail. I really appreciate it. So that's the, the chassis, chassis of the model. And then let's look at the first, the first one again, <laughs> the first set of screws, which is now the third set, because we're going in reverse order. So anyway, you've seen these, uh, seen these bits before, most probably. Uh, here's the Kraken, the long laser lance thing on the front, this unicorn horn, some people call it, and then some other stuff on the back. So more tentacles, all that cool stuff. Really cool kit. A lot of it uses ball joints too. I don't know if you caught that. So if you want to position it unique, uh, you totally can do that. You can do some fun stuff with the stances and things like that. But uh, that's pretty much it for the inside of this box. Um, again, the Kraken, super awesome colossal for cricks and these Sepulcher. Also, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it sounds cool. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this unboxing. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm Adam here from Bella Souls. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.